Thank you. Hello guys and welcome to Bambi 2. That's right, we're back talking about this deer person again. I'm sure most of you probably saw my video that I did a few months ago talking about this deer person that Twitch had hired to be part of their safety council or some shit. They posted this tweet saying, We're taking a big step forward for community safety. Meet the new Twitch Safety Advisory Council. Made up of Twitch creators and online safety experts, the council will advise us on policy updates, new products, healthy streaming habits. Yes, because nothing's more healthy than pretending to be a deer and have your partner rub you on stream, giving you a deergasm for your audience. Start and come back to here, maybe. Nice and soft. Down to the back of the head. Weaving down a little bit. Now the reason I'm talking about this deer person again is because about two weeks ago the deer person appeared on a video by a channel called Healthy Gamer GG, which apparently is where this guy who's called Dr. K um, talks to people. I've heard of him before because I saw that a little while ago he had Alinity on his show, on his stream or whatever, and uh, I think from the gist of it, what I get is they just talk about the mental health of gamers and all that sort of stuff. Now, I don't know anything about this Dr. K guy, but he must be a good doctor because, I mean, you know, he practices on Twitch. And Twitch aren't just going to let anyone call themselves doctor on their platform. Well, apart from Dr. Disrespect. But you get what I'm saying? Twitch is a respectable sort of site, isn't it? They're not just going to let anyone come and damage their reputation. Sure, they allow animal abuse. Sure, they have a dear person being like on their safety advisory council who thinks that all gamers are white supremacists. But I'm pretty sure that this doctor is legit. I, I know someone is going to get offended and be like, oh, he taught me how to love again or some shit. I don't know anything about this doctor, right? I'm just saying that I'm a little bit skeptical of someone being a doctor on Twitch because if you're that good, why are you on Twitch? Also, I do think it's quite funny, though. I really hope that at some point he, like, reads out donations and stuff during it. Like, he's getting to the core of someone's problem. He sat there like, and I think that it was at that moment my uncle used to abuse me and I realised at that point... Sorry, can I stop you there, mate? Because Naratu Lover 79 has just done a 500-bit cheer. Fucking Anime Lover 69, thanks for the six-month month resub, dude. I really hope that shit goes down. I really want to see all that kind of shit. But anyway, yeah, so Dear Person appeared on this very legitimate Doctor's show to discuss stuff and that's what we're going to watch today and kind of just go over a few things uh and the i've been harassed for like three months straight now like every day i get harassed about about oh, shit. the the things like that happened three months ago you know those just like all the clips that were taken there were like from from uh from like two days uh and people haven't really heard anything from me since and i'm still getting harassed for it so i'm like that sounds like, awful hard yeah it's 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 hard i don't think anyone could act could be prepared for it um, yeah i mean it sounds really awful to be continuously harassed for i, I don't even know what they would harass you for I have no idea why they'd be harassing you for. Did Dr. Special K not do an ounce of research on the dear person before bringing them on the show? I mean, there's a plethora of reasons as to why people would be pissed at her and harassing her. I mean, the fact that she's made a member of a safety council on a gaming streaming website, and then she basically said that all gamers are white supremacists. Well, no, I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that, I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact of how I feel, which is Also, maybe people are pissed at the dear person because when she was made a member of this safety council, she then went on a massive fucking power trip, dancing around telling everyone how much power she had. You better watch out because I'm pretty cool and you can't get rid of me. Twitch is endorsing me. And there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm just gonna dance, dance to your sad tears. I'm just gonna drink your tears. 
Nom, 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 nom. Bum, 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 bum. You better watch out. You know, I mean, maybe this doctor should have done just an ounce of research on some of the reasons why his guest was being harassed. Like, ah, uh, like my identity. Like, they, they want me to be fired. They are upset at me being trans. Um, they think I identify as a deer. I, I don't. I'm a human. People thought that you identified as a deer. When you're clearly a human, what idiots. Why would they make the assumption that you identify as a deer? Oh, by the way, on an unrelated note, is this you licking a rock of salt and wearing antlers? It's delicious. Also, is this you acting like a deer and pretending to eat your stream chat? Trans, trans, rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm gonna eat you, chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> chat, you're so delicious. <laughs> also, is this you talking to your stream chat, telling them how you like to jump around your back garden, pretending to be a fucking deer and eating grass? Um, so in my, in my spare time, I go out to my yard, in my spare time, I go out to my yard and I, and I prance around and I, and I eat grass and I, and I just watch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I do my best. I do my best to be. But yeah, despite all those things, I don't understand why people think you identify as a deer. What a bunch of morons. What a bunch of fucking idiots. Also, like the way that deer person is like, oh yeah, they obviously hate on me because of, I'm trans. Or Nothing to do with the fact that you called all gamers white supremacists, or most gamers, sorry, white supremacists. And the fact that you were dancing around saying that you had power over them and they were going to pay. Nah, they're not. That's not the reasons that people are giving you shit. It's obviously because they're transphobic. I mean, fucking hell. Get, get a grip on reality. And why is the Dr. Special K not calling the deer person out on the bullshit? Because he hasn't done an ounce of research before getting them on the show. Um, that was one of the things. Like, like generally, generally how I see... I, I, don't, I don't think I said anything wrong. Um, and I'm willing to, like, challenge that. Like, I don't even... I mean, I have some regrets about, like, my phrasing for some sure. things. But... I think my head was in the right place um, the, Heart the was whole in the right time. Place. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to sound like, you know, a broken record, but why did this doctor not do an ounce of research? I mean, here the dear person saying, I don't think I said anything wrong when I think back to it. You did. You were a massive, obnoxious cunt. I mean, and you came across as a crazy person because you, you do, regardless of what you say, you think you're a fucking deer to some degree, which is insane to put a person who thinks they're a deer and hops around their back garden eating grass in a position of power, and especially someone with the mindset that gamers are white supremacists, putting that person in charge of get you know gamers and guidelines and all that sort of shit is fucking stupid. If this guy had done an ounce of research, he could have said, well, can I stop you there? Because you say, I don't think you did anything wrong. What about this? What about that? Why didn't you call her out on her bullshit? You should have checked into this shit. How are you helping this person... When they basically could sit there and tell you whatever the fuck they want. I saw this with the Alinity one as well. Alinity was on uh, his show. I saw bits of it. And she was just basically saying stuff that wasn't true to make herself look better. And that's what this dear person's doing. Um, and I was, I was playing ranked in a game and my cat jumps on my desk and I go like, oh my god. And I try to put him up here, but he falls. Um, and so that's when the whole animal abuse thing started. Right. Milo! Why and how is that helping? If I'm if I said something really shitty and wrong and then he didn't know about it and I went on his show and went, I don't know what everyone's talking about, they're just harassing me and he was like, Yeah, well, I don't know any better, so I'll just agree with you. Great doctor. I mean, Twitch, did you check this guy's PhD before you let him stream on your platform? 
I mean, and again, you know, I don't know too much about this Doctor. I'm just saying from what little I've seen of him, seems pretty shit. I mean, whatever. But I'm sure there'll be someone to go, oh, leave Doctor Special K alone. He helped me with a crisis I had when I was playing Halo. Someone bullied me. Oh, great. Okay, fine. You know, and I'm not slagging off mental health. It's important and whatever. I'm just saying that this guy needs to do an ounce of research before he fucking brings Dear Person on here. Because Dear Person needs to be called out for their actions. And how are you helping? If she said some fucked up shit and you know about it, then you should be saying, look, I'm trying to help you improve and see things in a different light. You were wrong when you said this. But obviously there's none of that going on here. It's just a platform for Dear Person to basically once again talk about how right they are and... How everyone else is just cyberbullying. Because I really don't know. So, okay. So, I got accepted. I accepted this position for the Twitch Trust and Safety, uh, the, the Safety Advisory Council for Twitch. Okay. In terms of trying to advise, like, Twitch on what, what direction they should go with those things. Mm -hmm. um, we're kind of just like a, we're like a think tank. Like, we're a, we're a, um... I'm not like I'm not Twitch staff and I don't actually have any like direct control over what's going to happen. All I can do is put my voice in and be mm -hmm. like, here's what I wish would happen. So now here you are saying you don't actually have any power. You're just part of a think tank. You're basically on a committee discussing ideas, basically. So why were you on stream like dancing around talking about your power and basically just talking shit about how much power you had? But I'm hanging in there. And uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me. And this caused you a lot of shit because even fellow streamers were getting pissed off. I know Asmund Gold wasn't happy about her comments on all gamers being white supremacists and basically talking about what power she had over people because you're afraid of getting banned. It, it's ridiculous. A and at the same time, this person can say negative things about white people, and it's fine. If I said that about black people or about trans people, I would be banned. I would be gone off the platform. But they do it, and it's completely okay, and Twitch accepts it. And you think that as well, with so many streamers coming out and saying that they're unhappy about this dear person and her what she said about uh, white supremacists, or games being white supremacists, and the power thing that she has going on, you think that this Dr. K might have known a bit more and said something like, hey, you know, I know that a lot of fellow streamers have said that they take issue with you and your comments. What Do you care to comment on that at all? If you... Let me let me let me collect my thoughts a little. Sorry, sure. I'm like stuttering a bit. And uh... seriously, I'm not. I mean, I don't think you come across as unclear at all. Oh well, you know, I've been. It's it's been a long few months, so I'm trying to be very deliberate with my voice and like you know. Sure. I've, I've, it's very much unrelaxed me, I guess you could say. Um, where is that? It sounds like you give a lot of attention and scrutiny to your thoughts and how they translate into words. It sounds like you give a lot of thought and scrutiny into your thoughts and how they translate into words. Yes, the dear person that said this. It's really not that I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact of how I feel, which is... Yeah, that definitely seems like someone that puts a lot of thought into how their words are going to come across. No, what a stupid fucking thing to say. I mean, that, that is absolutely right. That's why the dear person's in this mess, because she doesn't think before she speaks. And here you are going, you seem like uh, you're very smart and you put a lot of thought and stuff into your words so that you don't get scrutinized. You fucking... Where, where did you get your PhD, Tesco's? Fucking ridiculous, man. <laughs> Absolute fucking nonsense. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, it hasn't really been that way. Like, that's, that's, that's the consequence of like, I'm like running these simulations of how are people going yeah. to spin my words and how are people like, how, like, and that, and that's what they're looking for too. You know, like pe people, I feel like people are looking to cause 
you know, if they can frame me in an inflammatory way, they benefit with clicks. Um, and that's like really, that's really scary. And that's the game that's being played. Like I haven't, like my voice has been twisted so much to things that like, cause, cause people are looking for ways to make me sound bad. I can't watch any more of this video. It's two hours long. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch the whole thing. But I can't watch anymore because this way I've just stopped it now is just a good, a good conclusion, a good point to stop because it pretty much sums up the whole thing of the deer person playing the victim card and the doctor not doing enough research so that the deer person's able to spin their own narrative and basically become the victim and come out like they're the ones that are in the right. And I just think it's absolute fucking nonsense to sit there and basically try and spin this that it's all people being transphobic and whatever. You came out and said all gamers are white supremacists when you're put in a position of power on a website that, you know, it originally was mainly for streaming games. I know there's thoughts and stuff that operate on there now. And you basically came out and were talking about how you were untouchable and you're power mad, Twitch is endorsing you, and you came across as an egomaniac and basically just a fucking cunt all round. And also... You come across as a fucking crazy person because you were showing your self care having deergasms on your fucking stream. It's like some sort of soft deer porn. Doesn't make you seem like the best sort of person for the job. Furthermore, you're licking rock salt things. You're hopping around your back garden eating grass. You're pretending to eat your uh, stream chat. All that shit makes you, like, you know, maybe not seem like the best person. I think mentally, if you think that you're a deer, then maybe you should be sectioned. I mean, if you if genuinely you don't think you're a deer and it's just a bit of a, a laugh or whatever, fine, a bit odd, but maybe you don't need to be sectioned, I don't know. But maybe something should have been asked regarding that in this interview. And also, the the attitude. Throw away all the deer stuff. Your, your attitude fucking stinks. And the fact that Twitch put you in this position and didn't remove you when you said all this bullshit is fucking worrying. And I don't get why this doctor, in an interview, if I'm a doctor and I'm, first of all, I wouldn't operate on Twitch because I don't think any self-respecting doctor of any sort should operate on Twitch. I think that's just a bit fucking weird. But whatever, you do you, man. I'm sure you've got more internet clout than me, my friend. <laughs> but, um, yeah, wh why, if I had was a doctor and I had, like, an internet show and I had a uh, dear person on my show, I'd be wanting to sort of bring up the thing of maybe potentially getting sections. <laughs> Oh god, people are gonna fucking hate me. Um, but I don't give a shit anymore. But um, yeah, it's just a bit odd. He needed to do fucking research. He didn't even scratch the surface, and like he should have been calling her out and saying, "Well, what? Why did you say this? Why did you say that?" But he just seemed to not know anything about what was going on, and it was just fucking bullshit. But there you go. I mean, Twitch allowed this person to be in the position of power, and then didn't punish them when they basically came out and was acting like a complete cock but that's twitch for you i guess so yeah I, I don't have the patience to watch any more of it but that's about it um let me know what you guys thought i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one cheers guys